Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, my hair is not in its usual curly state. That is because I am at home in Michigan and I went and got my hair did right after I got back and I vlogged that for y'all. So yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> I've been coming here since I was like 24, I think right before I turned 24. Um, my stylist Shalon, ugh. My stylist Sean um, does a really good job with my hair. This is our Mac Road in the D. And so I'm gonna go inside. Hi, Sean. This is my hairstylist Sean. <laughs> So at this point we were talking about my mom and how she had told Sean how long my hair had grown. Uh, my mom can kind of talk like with the, like this little draw I guess and it goes really slow so <laughs> she'll go Sean. You won't believe how long Kara's hair is. And I wish you could have heard him. Him saying it is a lot funnier than me, but <laughs> um, the water and him washing my hair was too loud. So I'm sorry you couldn't hear that part. Um, but yeah, he washed my hair um, and then he rinsed the soap out and put in conditioner. And the fun part after putting conditioner in your hair is detangling. Honestly, you know this is nice to that. You know this is nice to that. Yeah. <laughs> That's when we got married, right? Uh huh. Finally done detangling. How long did that take? 30 minutes. 30 minutes to detangle. 30, 40 minutes. Now we blow dry. As has probably been the case for most people listening to this um I haven't really been able to get my hair done very much this year due to COVID um and so this was only the third time that I've got my hair done this year the first time was back in February before everything got shut down um and then the second time was in July during like this brief period where LA was open a little bit um and so when I got my hair done this summer I got my highlights put in and I also got like a curly trim, which for those of you who don't know, um, it's designed more to just like help your curls flourish and they're not really compatible with straight styles. I mean, so as you're gonna see as the video progresses, my ends are kind of all over the place because my last haircut was on curly hair, not straight. Thank you. 
So Sean actually doesn't use a regular flat iron to straighten my hair. Um, he will use a pressing comb on my roots and my edges, um, but then he uses like the pressing comb version of a flat iron <laughs> um, to actually straighten my hair. Um, and he has one of those old school flat plates, uh, or not flat plates, <laughs> one of those old school hot plates. And if you were a kid growing up getting your hair done in somebody's kitchen with that blue magic, then you already know what I am talking about. If you do know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below and share some of your favorite memories. Uh, mine definitely revolve around it being a chance to get in grown folks business. Uh, my mom would sit at the table and talk to my Aunt Dolores as she was doing my hair and I would get all the tea, sis. So yeah, let me know uh, what your favorite memories are. So as you can see, my hair was definitely in need of a good trim. Um, Sean actually said that it looked worse on camera than it did uh, in real life. So um, he didn't have to take off that much, um, but I definitely had a little bit of breakage and um, just you know some uneven unevenness due to the kind of haircut I had gotten during the summer. Once Sean finished trimming my hair, then it was time for curls. Um, I love curls on my natural curly hair or even when I get my hair straightened. Um, that's usually my go-to regardless. Um, and I actually forgot to get a shot of my hair after he trimmed it. Um, he's actually not super scissor happy, thankfully. Um, so I think he could have even potentially taken off a little bit more, but uh, yeah. And here he's just you know, laying those edges as y'all know we do. Three hours later and this is the finished product. Um, if you're interested in seeing Sean for your hair needs, I'll be putting his information in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.